What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from the Best Buy Canada blog and today I'm taking a look at the Miko 3 robot. This is a great little device aimed at a very young child audience. Now adults get all of their cool accessories and their cool toys with smart devices and smart speakers and all that good stuff. So now it's time for the kids to get something but is this worth it? We're going to take a look. In this review, I'll go over all the different things you need to know about the Miko 3, the things it can do, how easy or hard it is to interact with, and a couple other features before we kind of wrap it all up, and I'll give you some of my final thoughts. But without further ado, let's hop in and check this thing out. The Miko 3 is, is really a great little device. The only thing I have to say about it that might come across as a negative is it's a little bit expensive. It is a smart device though, and this thing is doing everything that your smart home is doing, your Alexa or your Google or your Siri. This does it, it can search things for you, look up things for you, it's educational, it's fun, it can play games, it moves around. There's a lot going on with this device. Most of the stuff is gonna happen right here on this front facing screen. There's also a big giant speaker right here, as well as a camera because it can actually take a picture of your child and then recognize them uh, for when playing games and things like that. Hello, Miko. Hmm? Do you like me? You are my favorite friend. Hey, Miko. Hmm? I feel really sad. I hear you. Loglin, sometimes talking about it helps. Tell me, is it because of things happening around you? The device runs on two standard wheels on the bottom and then a rolly ball up front that gives it that front pivot. Very easy to use, very easy to set up. All the controls are right here on top. The most important control, in my opinion, is this little slide bar right here, which when you move it, actually closes the camera. Now you're not gonna be able to see that probably on camera too well, but we're gonna give it a go here. There you go. All those cool things that it can do. You can hide the camera, there's a volume up, there's a mute button and everything. But let's turn Miko on just so you can see what we're dealing with here. I've had some more adventures on my own and now I make it here to you. I wonder what kind of fun we're going to have together. For starters, I can do some pretty geotastic things, like tell you stories, answer your questions, play games, and even dance with you. Hello, Miko. Mm -hmm. Let's dance. With your Miko device, you're gonna be able to do so much stuff. It can play hide and seek with you where you go hide in a two meter radius and it will come find you. You can do stories, you can get facts about animals, you can play games like tic-tac-toe and so much more. And I think one of the cool things is how many different companies have partnered with Miko. Now there is a Miko Max subscription that you can pay for and it gives you access to a lot more stuff but if you take a look here at the miko packaging it tells you everything that you need to know about the device it does have partnerships with disney it does have partnerships with paramount uh, but those are going to be purchased through the miko max subscription service which i did not try out because i just wanted to look at the basic standard miko device and what you get when you pay your price on the back, it does show everything you need to know about the device. It's high resolution IPS display. It's only a two megapixel camera, so don't expect anything crazy there. It has an object detention detection sensor in it, which is really great. And of course, that speaker. It runs for about six hours on a single charge, which actually is a little bit light for me. Uh, and because you gotta plug this thing in, you're constantly picking it up, plugging it in, things like that. 
a little bit of an annoyance. I would have liked a little bit more runtime than six hours, but again, not the end of the world. It will connect to Wi-Fi, so you can set it all up. It'll recognize your child's name, their birthday, all of that stuff. It'll remember those things for when those special dates come around. The best part, though, is that Miko is just safe and Miko is friendly. Parents can control everything from the uh, mobile app that you can download from the App Store or from Google Play. And you'll be able to, to, to customize a couple of things, set some limits, things like that. It's a really great app that just allows you to have a little bit of control over your child and their Miko 3 device. As I said off the top, I have very few complaints about this device. It's well made, it's sturdy, it charges with USB-C. A lot of my recent reviews, I've had issues with the micro USB. It's USB-C here, so that's not an issue. It just comes in at the price. My kids had a blast with the Miko 3. I've reviewed a ton of products over the last couple of years and they enjoyed the Miko 3 so, so much. I think there is so much value here, especially in the games, the interactive features, the way they can interact with Miko. It is really your own personal little AI friend. It's It really is brilliant, the things it does. And I actually want to pick up the Max uh, subscription service because then you're going to get access to Disney and Paramount and so much more. And they continue to add more and more stuff to the Miko stories, games, activities, things like that. It's it's a great device. If you're looking for something and you're willing to pay that price of entry, I think your child probably around 10 and under, I think is the uh, suggested age rate for this. They will probably love this device. My kids had a blast with it. If you want to read up on all my thoughts on the Miko 3, you can check it out on the Best Buy Canada blog. But until next time, thanks for watching and we'll talk again soon. Goodbye. Thank you.